Hi guys, getting ready to do a collective read. We're going to see what the messages are for the collective, like the main ones. Oh, look it. They're already coming out. It says, fuck me nice, be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. And another card says kindness. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It says, be guided by your heart. Let go of logic and rationality. Hmm. I kind of get you're being kind to the wrong people. Some of you. That's so funny. Fuck being nice, but be kind. But yeah, you guys, you guys understand. Some people deserve it. Some people don't. And go with your heart. And you're giving your kindness and your love to the wrong people. Some of you are have I get like a family member who is really mean to you. And you feel like because it's family, you gotta be nice. But I get like no. Also, I'm getting standing up for someone who's like weak or something, helping them out. Okay, you also have feel what you feel. You have the right to feel what you feel, but remember that you always have a right to be happy and then celebration. So good times come from hard work. Time spent in good, comp good company. Excuse me. I get some of you are going to some sort of gathering. And when I say gathering, I mean it could be a party. It could be a wedding. It could be, you know, barbecue at your friend's house. I'm getting you might want to, like, look good for this. You might want to start, um, like, getting ready now or something. Feeling good for this celebration. Also, you may back out of something, and that's okay. If you don't want to go with, to something, you really need to say no. I feel some of you are going to go, and you're going to have like, this bottle of anger. You don't want to be there. I feel you like not being part of a group, but they're uh, not very nice. All right, let's see. What else is going on for you? What is your messages? Sky riding the fates. You also have sky bridge, possibility for union. And then you also have overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. You're going to have some, enough to share. I don't know if it's money, it's love, what it is, but you're going to have... There's some of you, you could meet someone and you could be getting married and having a, a, a ceremony. This may be like in 2025 or something, but I do get like champagne flowing, a fountain. I'm getting people being there. All right, let's jump into the tarot now and see what are the messages from the tarot. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Coins, the Seven of Swords, ooh, the Nine of Coins, with the Three of Coins and the Star card. What interesting uh, cards. It's like receiving something but feeling out in the cold, but you're not really, you're doing well. You're working with others or sharing that abundance. And it's the best thing for you. You're happy. That's so funny. Why are you Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords energy for you guys? What are you doing? Oh, Nine of Wands. Oh, okay. I don't blame you. You don't want drama. No more drama. The Knight of Coins is there, though. Ace of Swords. So what is this? They're receiving something with the Ace of Coins, but yet you don't want people to know coming up here. There's something here where you... This energy is nice down here because this is like being content, being happy again. You don't need to be nice to people who aren't nice to you. You know who to give the kindness to. I feel here like you're helping others or you're working with others. Some of you may work like in small groups or help people or help couples or something like that, or you're donating money or you're uh, working, you know, on something with someone, you know. As, oh, I always say the three coins is like my Home Depot card. I don't know why. It's like they're going and looking at paint. Something's helping them. But it's like collaborating. It could be a date. It could be any friends. What is this three of pentacles down here? Choosing something new. You're doing something in a new way. Coming up here. You're not going to do it the old way because someone told you that you weren't allowed to feel a certain way. This is so funny. This is so specific, but I love it because it is. It's like... Screw the people who aren't nice, who don't deserve you, but you know who deserve your kindness, and you know that it's okay to feel what you feel. People are telling you you're not supposed to, and then you're celebrating. And that's kind of the three of pentacles, the star card. You're choosing a new way. You're choosing something different. What is the star energy? The two of pentacles, the king of, the king of wands, and the ten of coins. Hmm. It's like you're around like-minded people. Again, this made it sound like you could be meeting someone. And it said overwhelm and plenty. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are receiving a large gift or receiving some sort of um, offer or money. What is this Ace of Pentacles here? Justice. 
This is something that's deserved. It almost feels like this, what are you going to do with it now? Page of coin, nine of swords, and eight of swords. It's really like you don't want people to know about this. It's like you feel like the wrong people are going to be fighting over it, people who don't deserve it. You're leaving something behind or someone. There's somebody who makes you... Some of, These are people who make you feel small, who don't allow you to be yourself. It's like you can't show who you really are. You don't dress in the clothes you like because they make fun of you. You don't do the things you love to do because they laugh at you. They have made you feel very small and very, you know, maybe even insecure at times. Um, you can see there's fighting here. Five of Wands. Uh, there's maybe definitely more than one person here. So this is either a group, of, like this is family, this is uh, co-workers, frenemies, whoever this is. You're coming out of this beautiful energy. You're being rewarded here. And you're realizing that you don't want to be in this energy anymore. You want to be down here. You want to be free. You want to be happy. You are freeing yourself from something. You're doing something in a new way. Now, some of you, I just got, this is when you're going to meet someone. You're going someplace new or doing something different. I mean, this could be from going, like, going to the museum or going to a baseball game or football game or, or going to, you know, on a trip. Maybe literally go and get some yogurt. It's to me, it feels like it's something different that you don't normally do. Maybe it's something you've always wanted to do. It could be something as simple as going to your favorite restaurant or, or, or going to like maybe a different restaurant. Let me say it different. Going someplace different. I was thinking like maybe you might go alone is what I was going to say, but there's three people here, so I don't think you're going alone. But anyways, I think this is where you may meet someone. Someone may be a waiter or a waitress. Someone may actually have a lot of money, but they still work just because they enjoy being around people and they enjoy it. Don't let looks deceive you. It's the kindness of their heart. I feel like you may meet someone who's very kind and you think they may not have money, not that it's necessarily important, but you may find out that this person is very wealthy. They may have a very loving or lovely family. Uh, they may do a lot of traveling. Wow, this, this reading is very specific. But it is. It's about leaving the people that treat you poorly or the haters or whatever these people are. Like, look at this chaos. Leaving it behind this year and doing it differently. Doing what makes you happy. Because there is a situation here where you really can't even be yourself. It makes you feel bad and you hide. You hide your true feelings. Doing something new will bring in this new person. Wow. Very specific message. I love it. Let me go to this deck and see if they can show us how, how else it is going to play out. Or come to fruition. Can't let go. Thinking of you. Oh. This could be a mystery. Party. Yeah, I get you go to a party, going, having fun with friends or someone. Things are changing. Mystery party or mystery person just feels right. It's like your tribe, your group, your person, your people. Things are different. I'm getting again, some of you could come into some money and just not tell people. But I feel the sense of peace coming over you. I mean, I mean, look at this crazy energy here. And look at this energy down here. It's very different. So you have someone who's a like, someone like you. Now again, this, people may not like this person. Maybe they make fun of you for liking them. They're not that attractive. Or they're different than you or different you know, whatever, and it's very, like, but you really love this person, you adore them, they adore you, looks aren't important, uh, they're beautiful to you, you're, you know, I let go, thinking of you, mystery, maybe there's a party, maybe a mystery party around um, Halloween or something, I'm thinking like one of those escape rooms or something else, possibly, things are changing and it just feels right, it feels right to be around this person, they're warm, they enjoy being with you, you enjoy being with them, okay, they may be clumsy. They may be someone who's a little bit awkward. They may drop things, or I could be describing you with the Two of Pentacles. Is kind of what I'm getting. Someone who may not be steady on their feet. Someone here may get seasick. Someone may live on an island or have to take a ferry or something as well. Or what do they like about you? I like they notice you across the room. They notice you uh, when you're far away. Again, this may have something to do with like Super Bowl Sundays coming up. If you celebrate, if you go out. Um, I feel like these people up here could be drunk, could be drinking a lot. <laughs> They feel like they're out of control. Motivated. But emotionally guarded. That's okay. Mysterious. So you have mysterious in both decks. Mystery and mysterious. Okay. It also says unknown. So you may just not know who this is at this point. 
someone who has money and overspends, but you guys are comfortable together. And that's the same thing here. It just feels right. People aren't changing. No one's changing up there. That's like people and that they're not going to change. So if that was one question on your mind, well, will they change? Can they change? Eight of Swords always tells me someone who doesn't change and you're kind of stuck in this loop, this loop of worry, being out in the cold. They're going to leave you on the cold. Now I see what the five of coins is. This is how you feel around these people. Holy shit, that's not good. Um, and you long for a soulmate. You long for someone that understands you. It seems a bit chaotic there. It seems like a lot of masculine energy there. But this person gets you and you get them perfect. So I'm just going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.